Steve Spagnuolo called a very good game. And I've been banging the drum of he is not the main problem, or I guess the only problem on defense for the Chiefs. The players need to play better. Um, He put them in good positions to do so outside of a Dan Sorensen allowing a touchdown. Um, But other than that, man, Spags called up some exotic blitzes. He really trusted his players to do well. A lot of man coverage on like Devontae Adams, which was a bold strategy, um, makes you wonder what the alternate would have been with Aaron Rodgers there. I think the game plan would have been quite a bit different because defenses haven't been blitzing him a ton, just like Mahomes. Um, but Mark, a few players specifically stuck out to me. What were your, your thoughts on the defense as a whole? Yeah, it was nice to see the defense get out there and hold hold the Packers, except for, like you said, that one touchdown. Um, I still don't get – uh, Sorensen and Neiman out there on fourth down when literally I was watching the game with a buddy. Um, and I looked at him, I said, Hey, Sorensen's out. They, they even call the timeout. I think the Packers call the timeout. And I was like, all right, maybe they can switch personnel. No, they kept him on the field and the Packers scored a touchdown throwing it at 49. We all knew it was going to happen and it happened. So I don't know what the heck is going on there, but, uh, yeah, he's still getting too much playing time. But other than that, the defense, like you said, it was looking a lot better. And I I liked seeing the blitzes. I know that they haven't been doing it a ton this year. Um, and I, I hope that they do it a little bit more going forward. I know that when uh, Carr gets blitzed, he kind of gets a little bit jumpy when teams get after him. So maybe they can do that um, against the Raiders and just some other games going forward. Maybe that's the play here. I think that Frank Clark is getting better um, on the outside on the pass rush. Um, Looks like I I didn't really see Ingram making a ton of plays out there, but he was in there. He was, he, he made his presence known a couple of times. So uh, we'll see what he can give going forward as he gets a little bit more comfortable with his teammates and uh, Chris Jones in the middle. I really like that a lot too. Yeah, I think it's going to be a domino effect. I think Frank Clark playing better. He's been solid this year. I think Chris Jones on the inside is going to help, and he's on the inside because Melvin Ingram um, had a few pressures in the game. I mean, he wasn't on the field a ton, but when he was, he made his presence felt, like you said. Um, He's one of the players who jumped out to me. I think that that's a win of a trade if he can give the Chiefs really anything down the stretch. Um, Six-round pick for a half year rental. If that rental is a productive pass pressure, then I say it's worth it. Um, The really big thing that stuck out to me in this one, it wasn't Nick Bolton. Um, Willie Gay did play pretty well. I think he made his presence felt showed off his athletic ability. Um, But Legereus Sneed, man, it's gotta be about him. Not only did he have a beautiful interception in a key moment of the game, um, but then a great pass broken up or, Um, kind of shutting down Devontae Adams down the right sideline. This was easily, I think, Legereus needs best game of the year. Um, Not only just the plays he made, but the magnitude of the plays, the player he made them against, the the importance of the situation, the time left in the game, um, just everything about it. He showed off the athletic ability. He showed off the timing. He showed off the ball skills. He, he showed off everything. He was tackling during the game, too. Obviously, he's always been a good tackler. Um, had mm-hmm. six total on the day, three solos. This is the luxurious need that flashed last season for the Chiefs. As a rookie, as a fourth-round pick who burst onto the scene, 2021 hasn't been you know particularly kind to him. He's had some uh, rough stretches. He's been picked on. He's gotten burned a few times. This was a coming-out party for him. Yeah, it was it was a brilliant game by by Legarius and Eden. I thought that Adams was going to have a bigger game. I I wasn't really sure. I mean, Jordan Love, nobody was really sure what was going to happen with Love. He targeted him, you know, a lot, but Sneed was getting after it and it was it was great to see. Even Ward made a couple plays out there, which I was a little bit maybe not surprised at, but uh, it was good to see the secondary do a little bit better. There was one play. I thought Thornhill had a pretty good game outside of the one long pass play. Um, he kind of jumped to the side and tried to swipe at it and, yep. and whiffed it. <laughs> and 
but other than that, yeah, I think Thornhill had a decent game. So it's, it's good seeing some of these guys come around and Hitchens was back in there. Um, so yeah, it was just good to see the defense kind of having the guys that you want to see out on the field outside of that fourth down with Sorensen did not like seeing that. But other than that, it's good to see the guys out there that you hope they'll be able to trust and lean on going forward. 